and put in this folder first we will try to download bweb by going to this link and clicking the link is in source force we'll just download 15 mb size and we'll save it in downloads your download will start shortly okay download we will go to downloads folder and and also I'll create one more folder called B web create and I'll just put this zip file into B web go inside we'll open terminal here we can unzip it by simply typing the command unzip and the file name paste selection is unzip unzip is done so actually we need this folder I will go back and okay the name is same bweb and here this is also bweb so I think we have to rename the file to different like uh, we'll just rename this folder we'll rename this directory to bweb content rename to try to uh, bring this folder in the ht directory ht doc directory for that we can uh, copy and paste it here this is the folder we want okay here xamp is working Actually, it's not working because we haven't started them now we have to go to this part them and we have to open manage Linux 64.run for that we will open a new terminal and type uh, okay CD try to CD into the part that we copied LS Actually, we are in htdoc directory we will go one step backward just clear it to make it tidy okay we'll just uh, type ls l to check the permission and the list uh, lamp. yeah we are talking about manager linux x64.run we'll use this to run zen to start jam this I think the permission is already there execute permission run read write execute we have to run them we will minimize this terminal if we close the terminal jamp will stop now we'll go to uh, manage services we'll go to mysql database and start we'll go to apache web server and start starting starting now apache is running and mysql is also running we'll minimize jam and we can close this folder okay we'll go to jam and refresh now jamp is running and we'll try to access wbwf now it is not running actually we have to go to htdoc bweb db db okay we'll have to check the settings index php info settings 
open php so we'll just put password to none blank and save it now close this go back back now we are in htdocs directory we'll open browser and try to access again actually we have to go to the installation file the installation file is somewhere here here installation.php htdoc now just click on click here to install bweb now you can check uh, bweb has been installed successfully we'll go to login and the default username and password is bbug we can login b then we'll go to bug actually there is different security level low medium high accordingly we can uh, practice our skills doing uh, checking for vulnerable vulnerabilities in the web application in this web application we can log in we can check these are different html injection a1 injection all top 10 with owsp top 10 vulnerabilities here we can check we can go and try to hack we will discuss about this web application bweb later but in this video we are just trying to find out how we can install this kind of apps web application so we'll just uh, so we'll try to install the next web application now